is Motivational Monday, and I'm here with Dr. Binks. Thank you so much for joining today. Happy to be here. Absolutely. So we always love when you come. You always have great information. And today we're going to continue our conversation just about being active in the summer while staying safety. Mm -hmm. Staying safe, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, safety too. Um, so let's go ahead and talk yeah. about it. I know you have some components to physical activity. Let's talk about that. Yeah, our, our approach is really designed to try to help people to stop thinking like, I have to go exercise or I have to start exercising. Because last week we talked about the people that are tending to go out there and jog and they're real like warriors. But this week, for the average person, just how do you become more active is our philosophy. And becoming an active person as opposed to trying to exercise are two very different things. Mm -hmm. The three components we focus on are the lifestyle activity, and we can talk a little more about that, and uh, planned physical activity, which we've already mentioned, and recreational activity, which are three very different things. Yeah, so let's dive into one of them, recreational activity. Let's talk about that one. It's the least talked about when people are trying to get healthier or lose weight because they don't count it the same way. There are those weekend warriors that go out and play softball and do all those things but just things that you do that could be fun and recreational that keep you moving like walking around looking at buildings and seeing architecture wandering around in a city and people watching you know things like that that keep you moving a little but instead of sitting on the couch yeah and so with those three components how important do you think it is for people to continue to stay active year-round even in the summer even in the heat yeah, I th one of the reasons it's good for the heat conversation is that maybe you're somebody that doesn't do well exercising outside in the heat. Instead of looking for indoor places to, to do that, you could just up the amount of time that you're spending in lifestyle activity stuff, like parking further away, um, taking stairs instead of elevators, all of those things. Yeah, and then I want to talk, you said it's not about being physically active, but it's just trying to exercise. Talk about that. Well, you know, a lot of people think about exercise is only a very narrow number of things. So if we get you thinking about being an active person, a person that just chooses the more active thing over the less active thing, an example might be that you're at an airport and um, instead of sit going straight and sitting at the gate, Maybe you wander around till the plane comes, or maybe it's something uh, you park a little further away at the grocery store. Maybe it's, a, it's anything like that. Go to the mall and wander around because you're up and moving. Great. Well, you heard Dr. Binks. You have no excuse as to why you can't have some sort of physical activity this summer. Go ahead and tell people where they can find more information. Well, it's on the screen there. Our, our best place to find us is on uh, nmhi.ttu.edu, and uh, all our programs are listed there. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Binks, for coming in today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Trends and Friends.